Hi, this is Newt with a minute of medicine for your mind. You know, I grew up in the church. My parents taught me to believe in God, just like their parents taught them and their parents before that. And the same patterns probably existed in your family. But somewhere along the line, I connected with the Pentecostal church that was based more on rules and responsibilities and regulations and duties. Although there was a heightened awareness of praise and worship, it was about what you couldn't do, what you couldn't say, where you couldn't go, who you couldn't hang with, what you couldn't drink, what you couldn't wear, what you couldn't think. Jesus never intended that for us. Jesus said, listen, love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And the greatest and the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. He was about love, about possibilities, telling us to do something, not to stop doing something. He also said, listen, the thief come but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I've come. Jesus said he's come to give us life and to give us that life more abundantly. He's about possibilities. What's next? What's coming up? He's about the future, not walls and ceilings. So what am I trying to say to you today? Don't get caught up in that stigma that the modern day church has given that says, listen, God loves everybody, but he loves you more if you do these things that are considered right in the church. That's religion, not relationship. God's about relationship, not religion. See, all God wants from you is to be your friend. And I don't know about you, but I have room for one more friend in my life. This is new with a minute of medicine for your mind.